what is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and welcome to week 2 of our season 15 PvP snapshot. This week I tried out several different teams on my offense and defensive setups. I experienced a mixed level of success with these teams, but I do have to say one of my favorite offensive setups involved Dr. Doom. So this is the exact team that I was using for offense, at least for a stretch of this week. On my agent I equipped a generalist in powered armor. Then for my E-ISO I went with inspiring which provides morale boost. On Dr. Doom I went with his character specific empowered ISO and that's the unbreakable empowered ISO 8. It grants him the will of doom so he's immune to stun and exhaustion. Then I tried the increasing empowered ISO 8 though I'd probably rather have the savant for the shield. And the only other ISO that I do want to note is the fact that I'm using the cooperative augmented ISO 8. This makes Doom's summon attack a quick action. Then for items I'm using the Cosmic Cardinal, the Synthetic Cube, the Neurotrope, and then lastly, I'm using the Staff of Asclepios. This setup makes my agent a support character and I'm totally fine with that. Doom has enough firepower and our team has a ton of lasting power. So basically if it gets down to it, we can use the Atom Smasher or even the Doom Cannon. Either way, once it gets to that point, we're going to obliterate whoever's left standing. Now as this battle rages on, I want to get more into statistics this week. On offense, I've tried a variety of teams, mainly revolving around Quicksilver and the Cosmic Cardinal. First I tried Union Jack and Quicksilver, and that team got pretty much obliterated. Don't get me wrong, they won a ton of their offensive matches, and they were a lot of fun to use. But on defense, something just didn't click. According to my records, they went 4-12, and 12, so a 25% win rate. Looking back, I guess that's not as bad as the other two teams I tried out. Iron Fist and Quicksilver, and also Quicksilver and Havoc, won about 20% of their defensive matches. So what did I end up doing on defense? Well, I switched back to Quicksilver and Juggernaut and the only thing I added was the Cosmic Cardinal. If you watched the last PvP snapshot, all I did was take out the Orfrost Mace and replace it with the Cosmic Cardinal. Other than that, my defensive setup was the exact same. Quicksilver in his blue costume as a Scrapper and the Juggernaut. My full defensive win rate for this season is about 38%. On offense, it's around 90%, but that's a lot because of my experiments. So what teams have I used this season to attack? Well at first I started out with Magneto and Captain Marvel. That triple tactician setup has a really great win rate. Next I tried Union Jack and Quicksilver. They lost a few more battles, but they did obliterate enemies when they did win. It was sort of a kill or be killed team and depended a lot on proc rates. Still they did win about 80% of their battles. Then we had Quicksilver and Magneto and they did quite well. I only lost one offensive battle with this team, but then I switched to Dr. Doom. Obviously that's the team I'm using in this video, and I will be posting a video later in this week that features only Dr. Doom on PvP. Well and of course my agent. In this video, since my defensive team is the exact same, with the exception of the Cosmic Cardinal, instead of showing you an offensive matchup with that team, I'm going to instead break down the meta. Just remember that this is at level 300 so it may be different in your level bracket. Let's start with the agent armor. It's overwhelmingly the empowered generalist armor. 71 out of 119 encounters were using this armor. The next closest is the empowered bruiser armor at only 15. Now that's a pretty crazy stat. Next up the top weapon and gadget setups are the synthetic cube at 91. Remember, that's out of 119, so 91 of the agents were using the synthetic cube. There were 45 neurotropes, 40 scrolls of Angelob, 30 Warbringer axes, and then the mystic was used 26 times. Now when looking at those numbers, I can definitely see why people think the cube is a necessity. Reality hacking also has been off the chain once again this season, so I just think it's kind of a mix of everyone copying and then once you see the proc rate, you almost feel obligated to use it. Now as far as most popular heroes, Quicksilver was used almost 50% of the time. The breakdown is about even between the Generalist and the Scrapper Blue Costume Quicksilver. 
The only other character that was used a pretty significant amount of times was Magneto. So yes, Quicksilver is absolutely dominating. And then as far as the overall top three classes, Generalist comes in number one, followed closely by Tactician, and in third place are the Scrappers. So those are your top three classes that you're most likely to see in PvP. Now as we come close to the end of this battle, it will be time to wrap up the video. I want to let you know that I'm working on the All Hell the King episode, and that will be out tomorrow for sure. It's going to feature Gamora, so you won't want to miss it. Also, I should be amping up the amount of videos that are coming out, so don't worry, there's going to be a lot more content. I believe that Season 2, Chapter 5 is right around the corner, so that's going to bring a ton of videos itself. And then I also have a few surprises in store, so please stay tuned and make sure to subscribe. Lastly, I want to thank you all for watching and ask you to please like, comment, and share the video. Until next time, good luck and take care.